we might care about how fast something is moving. And for that, we have two different tools. First, let's say that we have an object that's at one position here, x1, at some time, time 1. And then at some later time, time 2, it's at some other position, x2. We can define our average velocity, v bar, so this is a bar over the top to indicate the average, as the displacement between those two points divided by the elapsed time that it takes to travel between those two points. If we replace this with our displacement here, our displacement is going to be final minus initial, or x2 minus x1. And then our time elapsed is going to be time 2 minus time 1. So we can say my average velocity is the change in x divided by the change in time, or x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. So that's velocity. And just like displacement is a vector quantity, velocity is a vector quantity. That means that when we're traveling in the positive x direction, we have a positive velocity when we're traveling to the right here. And when we're traveling in the negative x direction, we have a negative velocity. Just like we had uh, a vector quantity, and then we also just had a non-vector way of doing that with position, we have the same thing here with average speed, is just talking about not displacement, but the total distance traveled divided by the elapsed time. So if I want to know my average speed over some time, in time interval, I look at the total distance traveled, not the displacement, but the, just the total distance divided by the elapsed time. To give some context for velocities and speeds, here are some speeds of various objects where you can see continental drift is happening at about 10 to the negative seventh meters per second, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 7th miles per hour, approximately. Um, we can walk about 2 meters per second, or 4 miles per hour. That's a pretty quick walk. Most people walk between 2 to 3 miles per hour, and so forth, up to uh, very fast things, like the orbital speed of Earth around the sun.